glad to have you guys back to my YouTube channel. In today's video, we'll be talking about my experience, what I had before applying to the university course, and how I did it. So, what I did. Let's get hey, here we go. All right. Before I start anything, I'm about to tell you guys. Let's define what is automotive engineering. It's a broader field in engineering that deals with the design, manufacturing of vehicles. Um, mentioned there, we have trucks, we have motorcycles, you know, cars. Yeah. So in this subset of automotive engineering, we'll be talking about automobiles. You know, that's where we are. That's what I fall in love with when I'm. Um, well, that's that's my passion, and I fall in love with it. And yeah, it's going to give me some money. Of course, automobile engineering is a subset of automotive engineering, which deals with vehicles. Um, we are especially with four or more wheel vehicles. Automobiles, which are typically defined as um, refers to as a passenger vehicle. I had a book which I inherited from my dad, which I'll be showing you guys in the next video. This is it automobile and um, automobile maintenance, which is 500 questions and answers about automotive and automobile engineering. So in the next video, we'll be talking about this book and um, you can also browse it um, by r.wbent, you know, you can browse it on net. Okay, this is automotive engineering and this is automobile engineering. And this is what I mapped out that we will be looking into in this video. First, do not ask your parents, seek advice from them. If they don't know, they should ask a professional more about the career. Next is work experience. You have to experience that before coming into automotive or any engineer or any career at all you want to pick in university and these are the subset of automobile engineering we'll be looking at as the first one implies do not ask your parents but seek advice from them i do not ask my parents that what do what do you think i want to be in life when i grow up no instead i seek advice from them i told them that this one i want to be is there any advice you have for me? What do you want to tell me? But luckily for me, my dad is an automobile engineer and I love that. So he always tells me more about what the field is all about. So if your dad or your mom is a professional in that career you want to be, and you, you want to pick that career also, but you love that career, I, I, I grab your dad should tell you or your mom should tell you the experience of what they had been what they had in, in in being the profession and if your if your parents don't know what the career is all about they should go out and seek for professionals out there who are already in the field you know tell them this is what my child needs you need your help how do you figure out that and that person will be eager to help you you have to go out there seek advice from from other people ask them of the experience what they had in their profession yeah and I think they will be they will be open-minded to tell you what it is all about. After that, after that, which you have which are fulfilled and you have already know what what the field is all about, move you, you make the big step to have the experience of, of what the career is all about. I went into automobile engineering. I stayed there for six months before coming to the university. And each two three months, I look into electrical, cooling system, and mechanical. In basically, the um, the structure of how different type of engine looks like. And in electric part, I look at the brain box, and and navigators and all that. And in air cooling system, we look at the AC, how the radiator works and all that. You know, so you have to go out there and see for yourself of what. You are you you want to actually be you know and know that yes this is what it requires to be not only just the theory but the practical aspect has a, a lot and which makes you more money yeah indeed if you are done from university of course you need money in the experience if you don't like the career you can decide to drop down and look for what favors you more 
this uh, this is the benefit of what I had in my experience. I decided no, I'm not for uh, I'm not for electrical, no, I'm not for mechanical, no, I'm not for a cooling system, I'm not for this, I'm not for that. This is what I, I love. I have a more specification in uh, in automobile engineering. So you guys should make that big step to know what I'm going for in automobile engineering. I'm, I'm speaking to my teacher more automobile engineers. If you're watching this video, give this best video a thumbs up. And which helps our dogs, you know what I'm saying? Let's jump in to the all right. First, in here, we have the powertrain engineer. In the powertrain engineer, they deal with the design and developing of engines, transmissions, and drive trains of vehicles. Hmm? Drive trains of vehicles that sound strange. Wow, I got you. It is a system that delivers power from the engine to the wheels. Where we talk about the front wheel drive, you are familiar with that, rear wheel drive, all wheel drive, four wheel drive, hybrid drive trains, and electric drive trains. Yeah, I love I love electric, of course. If um, some people like loud cars like Lamborghini, you know what I'm saying? Ah, that's by the side. Let's look into the vehicle dynamics, uh, which is a field concerned with the motion of vehicles and the interactions with the road surface. It involves designing suspension systems, steering systems, and braking systems that provide stability, that provide stability, improve handling and safety. You know what I'm saying? Um, in this, um, in this vehicle dynamics, they have a lot to do, especially that brake. We have many brake failures in the automobile, and I hope it will continue improving. You know what I'm saying? To avoid um, brake failures and all that. So let's jump into electronic and control system. In this electronic and control system, they deal with the design and development of electronic systems used in vehicles, such as um, engine management system, which I did, um, navigation systems, and driver assist uh, assistance systems. So the number four here is materials and manufacturing. It involves the selection of materials for the various components of vehicles as well as the design and optimization of manufacturing processes in this material and manufacturing processes this is where i fall in love with um, automobile engineering I'm, I'm good at this yeah i'm good at manufacturing i love it. the next one is safety engineering and this field concerned with ensuring the safety of passengers yeah they design and, and develop airbags, seat belts, and crumple zones that protect occupants, uh, occupants in the event of a collision with which everyone forbids. In aerodynamics, it involves the study of airflow over vehicles and the design of vehicles that reduce drag and increase fuel efficiency, of course that we need that of course the seventh one here is autonomous vehicles engineering this field involves the design and development of sensors software and algorithms that help vehicles to navigate and operate safety without human intervention this is the most and current vehicle engineering in the world vehicles that that drive by themselves you just need to put in you know, a street number or anything and they will just carry over there they have sensors built in them which uh, avoid collision and meters that when when a, a car is coming before it comes it will lock everything and ensure safety inside the vehicle so that the occupant won't get injured i like this i like this i like this i like this all right let's move to the next one which is alternative fuel in vehicle engineering the field involves the design and development of vehicles that use alternative fuels such as electric vehicles hybrid vehicles um vehicles powered by hydrogen fuel cells i think this these two are upcoming in automotive engineering which are which is alternative uh, alternative fuel vehicle engineering um, which are electric vehicles of course that don't use fuel it, it yeah it reduces the rate of carbon monoxide which is infectious to human beings so 
why can't we go to electric? I love electric vehicles. This is what I did before applying to any university. This experience uh, that I had helped me focus on one field. In my opinion, this will help you also to take your decision too when applying to any university. You have to have that work experience. Ask your dad. Ask anybody. Seek advice from anyone who is a professional in that career. And boom, you succeed. But first of all, fall in love with that. Make sure that you will be good in that. Yeah, anytime they call you, you'll be able to deliver once. That's how it works. All right, before applying to any university, this is, what, this is exactly what I did before applying to um, any university. Uh, I first asked my parents, uh, seek advice from them, seek advice from my mentors when while experiencing the career, the profession. And then I look into different type of um, uh, fields in automo in automobile engineering and find out, yeah, this is what I like and this is what I'm going for. So guys, I hope this will help you out while figuring out what you want to study in automotive engineering. I hope it will help you in making your decision. And this is the end of the video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I hope you guys learned something about this. 